Uh, joining us tonight on the phone to talk about this COVID-19 alert is the mayor of Danbury, Mark Boughton. My, mayor Boughton, thinking, uh, we want to thank you for talking with us tonight. And as you know, you were the first to alert your residents about what this was and what the initial thoughts were when you saw this rise in the positive cases in your city, Mayor. Yeah, our health department has been tracking this, as you mentioned, over the last two weeks. And through our contact tracing and the, and the great work by the team at the health department, we've pretty much uh, tracked it down to international travel, national travel, uh, some church groups, as well as um, uh, athletic leagues. And all three of those have come together to uh, expose a lot of people and to uh, start generating a lot more infections. So we've got to be vigilant, and I just appreciate the support from the Department of Public Health as well as the governor and his support and, and trying to get this under wraps and try to get these numbers down. This is a serious situation, and, and we've got to take it seriously. And, and it, it can be frustrating, and people can get fatigued by having to live by the guidance, but it's just so critically important to do that. And I want to um, help viewers understand here, what does this alert exactly mean for your city? Are we talking restrictions? Are we talking just precaution, if any, for the people who live in or plan to do business in Danbury? Yeah, that's a great question. So we're probably the first city, unfortunately, in Connecticut, besides getting the first case, also having discussions about how to roll back some of the phase two um, uh, standing down of the regulations. So that means, for example, we've canceled all athletic leagues um, that use our fields and, and our playing space. It means that we're going to be closing our boat launch uh, on Candela Lake on Monday. It means that um, we're encouraging churches to go online uh, and virtual services for the parishioners. It means just taking all those steps, plus really being vigilant about getting people to wear their masks and maintain that social distance. We also saw a significant amount of spread amongst very innocuous family barbecues, maybe only 10 or 11 people with a couple aunts and uncles, but we, we've been able to trace some, uh, some infections from the virus that way as well. So we're discouraging that kind of activity. We can't stop it, but we're certainly asking people to think twice before they do it. And I also want to give viewers some sort of perspective tonight just on what we are dealing with here. You've been updating your residents on the numbers each and every day, and I think the last one you posted was 44 residents. Does that sound about right as far as uh, the numbers you guys are seeing on a day-to-day -day basis? Yeah, so we run a little bit ahead of the state in terms of our numbers because we're pulling from our local hospital, the state lab, of course, as well as uh, New York State uh, labs and private labs in Connecticut through our health department. So um, we're just a, a few days ahead of them. That's what we saw today. Yesterday we saw 29. So that you know bell curve is going up. It's not going down, and, and that's what really has us concerned. I also want to talk about schools. I understand Danbury is going to reopen a hybrid model with the first day of school in less than three weeks away, September 8th. Um, is tonight's news going to play into any future decisions or is this a let's just wait and see how this plays out for a little bit? Yeah. Sure. I'm, you know, I'm in line with the governor and our superintendent and our board of education. We want children to have that school experience. We, we know there's value to it. However, we also want to be smart about it. So we are reevaluating right now whether or not we're going to use a hybrid, whether we're going to go to a straight distance learning program. That decision uh, still has more discussion to be made by our board, but certainly this information will have an impact, I think, on that decision. Like you say, we're about three weeks away from opening the doors. And before we let you go tonight, if you can just sum it up for us, what do you want your residents to take away from this alert? What are some of the things that you want to make sure they are practicing in the next coming days or even weeks? Yeah, I, I want our residents to take this seriously. I, particularly our young people, we see a high spike in infections among people 6 to 18, and, and they've got to take it seriously. They've got to wear their masks. They've got to wash their hands frequently and make sure uh, that if they're around somebody who, who is positive to go and get tested. It, it's a real thing, and um, I know people, you know, again, they get fatigued or they don't know anybody who's been sick, but, you know, at the end of the day, I personally – I've just lost somebody very close to me about three weeks ago to COVID-19. So it's real, and you got to take it seriously. And, Mayor, thank you, and sorry for your loss there. Again, Mayor Mark Boughton, we appreciate you joining us tonight here on Fox 61. Thank you.